ojas uh, means it's a non-physical dimension of energy. If sufficient ojas hangs around you, you are well lubricated. You will pass through the world effortlessly. You will see, for some people, passage through this world is terribly difficult. For some people, wherever they go, they will pass through smoothly. Have you seen this? You yourself, on a certain day, it looks like the whole world is cooperating with you. On another day, the whole world seems to be standing up against you. Have you noticed this? If you create enough ojas, then you will pass through the world smoothly. Now you're doing Shambhavi. If you're doing it every day, you will develop ojas, some amount of ojas, which will see suddenly everything seems to be facilitated for you, it just happens. So, building oxygen into the blood is one of the important things because how healthy the body is, how easily it rejuvenates itself depends on a high level of oxygen in the blood. And that capability will go down, particularly women have to be careful on this because of the biological process, that their hemoglobin content may go down, and their ability to carry oxygen in the blood will come down, which will make them unnecessarily exhausted, will make them look unintelligent. And uh, yes, if the, if the RBC is low, you feel dumb because there's not enough oxygen in the brain and it doesn't function the way it needs to function, both the body and the brain. So, uh, to take care of this, one of the simple things is you consume a little bit of honey in warm water on a daily basis. and uh, you will see slowly the RBC content will go up. If there's more oxygen in the blood, suddenly you feel a burst of energy, suddenly everything is active, the rejuvenation system in the body is going up, the dead cells are being replaced quickly. The level of inertia that you feel in the body is much lower, the level of inertia that you feel in your mind is much lower. What the neem does to your system? Well, in more tangible terms, one immediate thing it will do is, it will keep your alimentary tract clean. So within this alimentary tract, there are a whole host of microorganisms. Many of them have turned friendly to us. We are living because of them, we are able to digest food because of them. Many, many functions in the body happen because of them. But still there are many who are harmful to us. The uniqueness of neem, especially when it is taken along with turmeric, if these two things go together, largely those things which are not necessary for the body, those things can… that which can harm the body, any kind of parasital life which is there, all these things get eliminated. keep this body like breeze, simply it goes ahead of you, you don't have to drag it wherever you go, it must float ahead of you. You can keep it like that with a little bit of yogic practice, very little I'm saying, if you invest twenty, thirty minutes a day upon your well-being, you can do this, just putting the right kind of fuel. I'm t not telling you eat this way, eat that way, just experiment and see, all right? Just experiment and see. Tonight if you go, Instead of eating whatever cooked food, just eat fruits and see, tomorrow morning you will not need an alarm bell, you will wake up before the alarm bell. What you should do is, today you start ten percent natural food, fruits, vegetables, whatever. Tomorrow make it twenty percent, thirty percent, like this, in nine days you reach hundred percent. Then you bring it down. Stay in hundred… if you have any physical ailment, stay there for five to seven days. If you are a healthy person, stay there for one or two days and then cut it by ten percent every day, bring it down to fifty percent and hold it there and see 
for most people it'll work at its best. If you want little more or less, you can adjust it accordingly. This is something you have to find your own rhythm within yourself. <laughs>